Hey, we just wrapped up our uh, conversation with Jeff Detweiler and a uh, lot of fun talking to him about his uh, future vision of the Long and Foster companies and some great stuff coming down the pike. Uh, I know you'll enjoy it. He's a great guy, great information. And uh, let's go to our conversation with Jeff. All right, so here we are. Uh, Jeff, welcome back. We're at the Long and Foster Studios at McLean, uh, Virginia. Thanks for coming in again. Hey, my pleasure. I had such a good time last time. It I, was. I wanted to come back and get a get another one. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. So, so today uh, we're going to talk about. Uh, last time it was all really about you, right, and your story. And and uh, I encourage folks uh, if they want to learn more about you to go back and listen to that episode. Today we're going to talk business, right? We're going right. to talk about your vision for the future of the uh, Long and Foster organization. So so right. maybe give us some cliff notes and then we can uh, kind of get into the uh, conversation. Yeah. So uh, there's a, a number of things, probably four things that we can touch on. <clears throat> number one is just the industry in general right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we all know very robust and things like this, but uh, at this point in time, I'm just very concerned with the, with the advent of more and more of these discount brokerages. Right. And I think that what what um, characterizes a discount brokerage is uh, little or no supervision, limited training. And right. I think what it does is it brings down the quality of guidance and consultation around a real estate transaction when we get more and more of these type of firms and agents in the market. Right. Um, and uh, and uh, so that's very concerning. And uh, it, it just behooves me as to why the why people don't demand an even higher caliber um, competency and capability from a from their real estate agent, right? right? This is a very expensive transaction. As we know, it's one of the most expensive assets anybody's ever going to acquire. Why wouldn't you say, I need somebody more like a wealth manager advising me on my real estate transaction than a used car salesman who's just trying to turn some numbers? And so that's one thing. Number two is I want to talk about uh, where the industry says that uh, the industry needs to go to improve the customer experience. Mm -hmm. And they talk a lot about mortgage title insurance. All kinds of national firms are talking about that. Right. Well, as you well know, John, that is, we've been doing that for two decades here at Absolutely. Long and Foster. Yep. And we do it better than anybody else. And so we've got a real advantage that we're already there. Um, the third thing I want to talk about is where where this one-stop shopping really goes. And what we're calling it at Long & Floster is the all-inclusive experience. And mm -hmm. I want to talk about it's it's much broader uh, than just mortgage title and insurance. And I think it delivers a far better customer experience. Yep. And then <clears throat> fourthly, uh, what we want to do is create an ecosystem for a home buyer to live in, in which uh, the agent and the company continues to serve them mm -hmm. as an owner of a property, the most expensive asset that they very well may have. Right. Absolutely. Those are, those are, that's just going to be a great conversation. So let's jump right into number one. So the, so the, uh, the discount, uh, brokerages. So I, I can speak personally, yeah. having done hundreds and hundreds of real estate transactions that you really do get what you pay for. And I know when I've got a good agent on the other side of a transaction who's representing their buyer and right. or their seller, whichever side they, they may be on. And I also know when I've got an agent on the other side who's just, I, I say, stepping in front of a commission check, right? They're right. just literally sometimes not even going through the motions to get a transaction done. So let's talk a little bit about yeah. that. What's your 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 view on on the discount brokerages and your thoughts there? Well, I think that the the discount brokerage firms uh it's all about um delivering a brokerage environment uh for no money, not really investing in it. And so right. if you're not going to invest in the brokerage environment uh what are you doing? You're just basically putting agents on the street. Yeah. You're not training them. Right. So their level of competency can be very questionable. Yes. You don't hold them accountable for that. Uh, number two is there's no supervision. You know that that's very important thing within Long and Foster. We have hundreds of managers that yes. are there to help agents with any kind of 
uh, challenging issues in a transaction, mm -hmm. and uh, we overlook everything that we do. And supervision is really important, not just in our business, in any business. Right. And so these discount brokers don't have enough money to invest in training for their agents. They mm -hmm. don't invest in uh, supervision. And I think the quality of service and expertise that a discount agent is providing uh, a consumer is just not uh, acceptable. And, um, and you know that as well as anybody yeah uh how well, many I, I, not, not to interrupt yeah. you but i sometimes feel bad for the client of some of the agents that are on the other side of a transaction because i know they're not getting representation they need and i see things all the time that that are uh that are really should have been obvious uh, people an, an agent will help somebody buy a piece of land, for example, where you can't build a house, but the agent never knew that you had to do some research yeah. to find out if it was a buildable lot, things like that. So, yeah. it, And I'm sure there's so many of them. And it's like, you know, the number of times I've heard from Long and Foster agents about their angst and struggle with a, a, a lesser than competent discount agent on yeah. the other side. W what does that Long and Foster agent do? Well, they... They pick up the ball and they run with it. And so they, they work have to, twice as hard. They do. Now, now, that's great, right, for getting, you know, transactional things done. But you right. can't represent the other client. That would exactly. be unethical, right? Because yeah. you have to represent your client. Yeah. So, yeah. So I just think that it is uh, what happens is sometimes probably the consumer doesn't see through that, right? Yeah. As the more competent agent kind of steps up and goes beyond what they're required to do to make sure that the transaction gets to closing and things yeah. like that. So I, I just feel like... There's a point in time, you know, at the market right now, there's more and more agents in the market every mm -hmm. day. People are coming into this business because it looks like it's so easy mm -hmm. uh, because houses are selling fast and things like that. Mm -hmm. There's nothing easy about it. it as no, you, you and I were just talking earlier, it, it is every bit as complex uh, buying a house as ever before. Right. It's not getting any easier. Uh, and uh, you need somebody who's really competent, a professional. And, and that's my, my wishes were that this industry would go in the direction of more along the lines of a wealth manager or something mm -hmm. like this. Somebody that steps up and works with the consumer on an ongoing basis right. uh, to understand their real estate, to do their purchase, but to coordinate coordinate all the other things that have to happen right. uh, and not go the, the direction of the used car salesman where there's a, a different set of people in that showroom every weekend right. just trying to give it a shot and sell some cars. It's just not a good experience for the consumer. Yeah. And um, what's interesting, the facts are there will be lots of contingent liabilities down the road mm -hmm. uh, when the market gets really uh frothy like this and a lot of mm -hmm. transactions, mm -hmm. you know, there's all kinds of uh, uh, th things that happen in the contract, like you know, right? right. The contingencies are reduced and, yes. and home inspections can't uh, kind of run their thorough course and right. things like that. And what happens is that there will be more liabilities down the road because some transactions, consumers will be unhappy with the transaction mm -hmm. because corners have been cut. And Absolutely. So I, I think I think the one of the biggest things that needs to happen, I think, as as a, as a whole is the consumer needs to be educated, I think, really, I think the there are uh, seasoned home buyers out there and sellers that understand the value of a great agent and they understand that you get what you pay for. But it's so easy to say all these things are so easy to say, you get what you pay for, right? The machine behind you get what you pay for is really complicated. So a discount brokerage is executing your transaction at a lower cost. The house, the brokerage company is making less money and the agent uh, is making less money, but you maybe as the consumer may be losing money as well because you don't know what you're missing out on. Exactly. Um, and, it's, and it's hard, I think, for the consumer to understand all of the money that Long and Foster puts into the training programs here, and yeah. it's it's really amazing uh, what what you guys do. So uh, it's it's uh, it's going to be a challenge. So how do you educate the consumer about the well, machine? That's a, that's a really good that's a really good question. I'm not sure I have a, a good answer for that r right now. Mm -hmm. You know, we we as an industry, I think, have to make 
the consumer understand uh, how challenging this really is, how complicated acquiring a house. There's a lot more than finding a house, negotiating the right price, and signing some contracts. As right. you know, there's way more I- involved in it than that. Yeah. But we don't talk about those details enough, right. uh, and we need to. And I think that, don't you think that probably first-time home buyers are the ones that nobody's informing them of the complexity of buying a home. Correct. They're stepping into it, and they're just saying, well, if I can pay $10 instead of $14, I'm going to pay the lesser money and Absolutely. I'll buy my house. And right. they don't understand what they're foregoing by going to that discount broker. So I think a lot of first-time home buyers are not being adequately represented by these discount brokers. I, I, I agree wholeheartedly on that. And, and in fact, we're going to do a whole episode about that really very soon. But, but I also think first-time home buyers hire a one of their peers as their realtor. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and first-time home buyers who are choosing a peer as their realtor may not have the most seasoned uh, realtor and may not write. So good point. And, and, and same thing with new agents that are new to the business. They know very little. They don't have the experience. They don't have the calluses. Right. Uh, So they like working with new, with first time home buyers because they're not going to ask the tough questions. Right. So there's a whole dynamic level of that. Yeah. That's a great point. Yeah. 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 So we'll, we'll have to, we'll have to, we'll address that on another episode so so for long and foster what are you doing with your organization to to train the agents and have them we've been talking about i think going back to west foster when he would come into the offices and talk to us years and years and years ago he was talking about you want to be your client's trusted advisor exactly so that's that's part of the corporate culture here right. at Long and Foster. Right. A- absolutely. And it, it always has been. I think that, you know, what we, we have a pretty extensive training department. Uh, we've got hundreds of online courses mm-hmm. uh, where agents can go and they we, we can look at this library of courses and we can see how often those books are checked out, if mm-hmm. you will. Uh, and it's being used uh, quite a bit. Yeah. You know, we spend a lot of time training our managers to train our agents. Right. And uh, I think that a lot of the the better managers will find agents within the, the office. I think that you guys do that here in McLean all the mm-hmm. time is you find an agent who has an expertise and that agent spends time uh, with uh, other agents advising them. Uh, I think another big thing, you know, our model that we've been deploying for a long time are other businesses also. So Mm -hmm. for instance, you know, Long & Foster has title companies that are part of the Long & Foster family of companies. Well, we have our attorneys in the title business spend time and and teach courses and talk about uh, pertinent and hot topics of the time in the in the branches and these discount brokers are not doing that right Uh, and what if they don't even have branches right you know there's real real estate firms that are trying to position it as being the really cool progressive thing to not have an office right i personally believe that is just a way to make an excuse for not having an office because I can't afford an office. Right. Or I don't want to spend the money on an office. Well, that's it. I don't, I can't afford it or I don't want to afford it because if I'm charging less, I have to spend less. So how about if I don't pay any leases? How about if I don't pay any managers? How about if I don't, if I eliminate all these costs that Long and Foster invests in, in a heavy way, uh, what that does is that discount firm has to characterize that as cool and new and progressive when I think and you and I would agree when we talk about the complexity uh, and the expertise of a seasoned realtor Mm -hmm. uh, you've got to have that but that just doesn't come uh, overnight right Right. It, it takes hundreds of transactions you know or dozens if not hundreds and it also takes lots of time to be a real expert in this arena. Well, you know, one of the things I want want to just hit on two things from my personal experience. One is, you know, we're sitting right next door right now in in our recording studio here for for where we used to have our weekly meetings uh, before uh, COVID hit. And, you know, I came to as many as I could, you know, probably hit 50%. But every single meeting that I came to, I walked out of this room with 
some knowledge that I didn't have before I went to the meeting. These weekly meetings, and, and we're still doing them on Zoom, and they're still happening, but but it's not in the room. Right. Uh, but after the meetings, people would kind of break out and talk about various uh, different things. But you learn something from all the other agents that are going through their struggles. People stand up and talk about problems they're having so we can learn, so the rest of us maybe can avoid that uh, down the road. So. Right. Not having that kind of a culture in your real estate company, I think, is just destructive from day one. Right. Yeah. If you can't share experiences, then that's that's a problem. Right. You know, the second thing that that I've always been amazed with at Long and Foster is, you know, our colleague, Barry Redler. I, I uh, uh, chat with him several times a year. And every time I get together with Barry, he wants to tell me about all these tools uh that, that that you guys have uh for for the agents and you know i have my systems i'm a seasoned agent you know i'm not i'm not really grabbing on to the tools that you guys have right but but you have so many tools that are available to agents and there's no way that any agent can use all your tools right but every agent works differently every agent thinks differently every agent has different sets of clients there's different cultures there's different all, there's so many different ways you have to work, but to have all these tools available to you or to the agents is really invaluable. And to have the managers that can help you find the tools that, and when I say tools, I'm talking about digital marketing. What you just give some high level, what kind of tools do we have over there? We've got digital marketing tools, administrative tools. Lead generation tools, uh, I think transaction. Uh, I'll call, I think the the one of the most important ones we have now is our MoxieWorks platform. That's which, amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's yeah. everything from... Uh, Number one, it's got a uh, best-in-class present system and ability yes. to present to customers in a in a great way, particularly um, you know potential sellers. Yeah, uh, does a great job with that. I think that it also has a CRM system. Yeah, and it has Engage, which helps you kind of move through the transaction, connect with your sphere. Yes. and things like that. So that's a that's a yeah. great tool. Yeah, and let me and you know I got to tell you, Moxie, I am and Barry and I've talked about this at length. I used to write my own pipeline management system in Access Database way back in the day before we had CRMs. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, every transaction has a series of steps, right? We, we call it the pipeline. Yeah. And uh, you have to bring your, you know, when you meet a brand new client, you have to uh, qualify them. You have to figure out what do they want? How, what's their budget? And you would, in Moxie, you can put them in a stage, right, which you can create. It's customizable. And you can have them in a qualifi qualification stage. Once you have that buyer qualified, you can move them to the next stage, which may be have them in your car showing them houses, right? right. So you start to get 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 clients all at different phases of the transaction. Moxie can help the realtor keep their yeah. workload organized, but it's also great for the buyer because, or client or seller, because most people want to be part of a process. Right. Most customers, consumers want to know that the professional that they've hired to help them achieve a goal has a process that they are going to work them through. Yeah, absolutely. Right? And that's what Moxie's all about. So I'm glad you brought that up. Well, I think that, you know, I explained Moxie. When we first identified Moxie and brought it to Long & Foster, uh, I characterized it as a sales discipline. Right. Uh, and that's the process that you're talking about. And you have a process and... Uh, I'll, all successful agents, I believe, have a process. I think that the biggest difference, you know, I was from outside the industry, but the yeah. biggest difference I saw between successful agents and agents that wanted to be successful is that the successful agents had a sales process, right. ha had a sales discipline, and they did it the same way all the time. Exactly. And it satisfied what their customers needed. And the agents that wanted to be successful didn't know what they were going to do after lunch that day. Exactly. A and that is the single biggest difference that right. I saw between successful and agents that wanted to be successful. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So, so wrapping up this kind of this first segment. Yeah. So, so um, what are your, what are your kind of final thoughts on topic one? Yeah, well, I would just share, you know, kind of a way to segue to the next one is when you talk about the, the meetings, the branch meetings that we have here mm -hmm. in McLean and all over the footprint, you know, I get the benefit to go visit everywhere and participate in some of these, but they're all similar in the mm -hmm. sense that agents are 
interacting and almost masterminding for that hour-long event each week with right. each other. Uh, but another thing that happens is we always have somebody from the mortgage company that comes and speaks, or we have one of the attorneys from the settlement services company, or we have somebody from the insurance agency that comes. Right. And they're talking about in the same way. They're sharing and dealing with questions that agents have about hot topics. And I don't know that other uh, brokerages have that same advantage to do that. Right. Yeah. Good. That's wonderful. All right. We're going to take a break. And uh, when we come back, we are going to talk about... We're going to talk about uh, the the idea of, of additional core services uh, being involved with the real estate transaction and coordinated really well. Fantastic. Back in three minutes. Excellent. I'm John Jorgensen, and if you want to learn more about buying a home or selling your existing home, contact us through the show. We work with an incredible network of professionals who can help you get through the process smoothly. Again, that's GoWithJohn.com. Welcome back. We're still at the uh, Long and Foster Studios, McLean, Virginia. We are with Jeff Detweiler, uh, CEO of Long and Foster Companies. Right. And thanks, Jeff, again for coming in. I'm really enjoying our chat today. Well, John, I always enjoy spending time with you. So thanks for having me. Excellent. So now we're going to talk about, and I think this is really important, I guess we're going to talk about... Uh, the 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 concept that some of these new shiny companies are coming up with about an all inclusive experience. Yeah. So tell me your thoughts on that. Yeah. So uh, as we've talked about, um, what I find really almost ironic is the fact that these new companies that have shown up on the uh, on the stage in real estate uh, have talked about how progressive and that they're the new cool company. Uh, but what they're really talking about when they're being asked to what does the future hold in store for you, they start talking about the concept of introducing the major core services, which we refer to as mortgage, title, and insurance, and mm -hmm. that this is their future, to be able mm -hmm. to introduce these other necessary products and services to the real estate transaction at the brokerage, and that right. that's what they're aspiring for in the future. Right. And I think that it is so uh, it's so ironic mm -hmm. that Long and Foster, you know, the company that's been here for over fifty years, we've been we've introduced those products and services two decades ago, and right. and I would say over the past decade, we are better at delivering a coordinated effort between realtor, loan officer, uh, settlement services company, and insurance agent. And we do a great job. Nobody mm -hmm. can do it as well as we can, and there are reasons for that. Mm -hmm. uh, but that, you know, our competition is talking about that's what the future holds in store. And that's our history, being able to do that. So right. I, I, it makes me feel good when I think about so many of my competitors talking about what they need to do to deliver a superior customer experience is what we do at Long and & Foster. And uh, uh, so I just, I know that we need to continue to do more of that. Mm -hmm. They refer to it as one-stop shopping. Right. I think that NAR uses that moniker of one-stop shopping when they yeah. refer to it. And a lot of our competition talks about one-stop shopping. I think mm -hmm. it kind of cheapens uh, One-stop shopping, I think, kind of cheapens the experience that right. we're trying to deliver here at Long & Foster. Um, we refer to it as the all-inclusive experience. Right. And that's something that I'd like to talk a little bit more about uh, here if we can. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, one of the things that comes to my mind when I hear you talk about these uh, the, the competitors who are going to be doing this, they're going to have to go through one heck of a learning curve, you know, because when you do something for 20 years, there is no substitute for experience right. and, and finding all the little ways to make all these things work together. And uh, so so they're in for a, uh, a long road ahead of them. So right. I guess let, let's talk about the, you know, and I, and I think I would also add that, you know, one-stop shopping 
or the all-inclusive experience doesn't mean you have to use absolutely not all those services, no, but they're available not. there for yeah. you. So if you have a great insurance agent that you love and you're going to work with a Long & Foster agent, that doesn't necessarily mean that somebody's going to push you to work with Long & Foster Insurance. If you've got it covered, then then absolutely. you're good. But if you need insurance, then here we are. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And and I think that's the, you know, I, I make, when people say, what's the all-inclusive experience, I usually try to draw a parallel to an all-inclusive vacation. Right. You know, it's not right for everybody, but it's right for a lot of people. Exactly. A lot of people don't know uh, how to go about making all the arrangements. A lot of people don't want to go through making all of those different arrangements. Yeah, you pick where you want to go, but then you have to make travel arrangements and you have to take lodging arrangements right. and logistics and excursions and food and all these things. And not if I had just a place to go to have that uh, somebody who I know and trust right. to walk me through that, then I think that there's a lot of people that want that. And and that's the idea of the all-inclusive experience is it's here if you want it. Right. Uh, you don't have to have it, to your point. You know, right. uh, you can kind of mix and match pieces. If you have somebody that's in a field that you really like working with, you can work with them. Right. You know, our, uh, our vision is to continue, is to expand the, the products and services that a Long and Foster agent can offer to mm -hmm. their customer mm -hmm. and to co that they can coordinate on behalf of their customer, give the customer even more choices. Right. So, uh, for instance, as you know, uh, we stood up a moving and storage company yes. about Taylor, a year Taylor, ago. Tailored Move. Tailor Move. Yep. So let's just run down the affiliates real quick. Yep. Tailor Move. Tailor Move. Prosperity Mortgage. Yes. Uh, Long and Foster Insurance. Right. And... Uh, RGS. RGS, and we have Sage Title in okay. Maryland. Um, we have Long and Foster Settlement Services. We've got a couple of different brands in the in the title arena. Okay. Uh, yeah, and those are the companies that we have right now. You know, we also have some smaller companies, like we have a vacation rental business, right? Uh, where we rent out, uh, you know, kind of week long vacation rentals. Mm -hmm. Very hot business uh, mm -hmm. last year and this year. You know, for because of the pandemic exactly. and things like that, we yeah. do over a hundred thousand nights a year uh you know we have a property management business for right. our investors who want their properties managed so we have a lot of other businesses but the the really prime ones that fit into this all-inclusive transaction right now are uh, mortgage title insurance moving and storage mm -hmm. uh and then we're also um going to move into some other things that have to happen every time we want to uh align ourselves much more closely with a particular home inspection company Company that can deliver some unique offering and features for us. Right. Uh, I think that another thing that has to happen is, uh, you know, everybody has to turn their utilities off and turn your utilities mm -hmm. on. That's that's a real nuisance having it moved is. and <laughs> done that, right? Uh, what happens if I had a company that could do that for you and take right. care of it, right? Uh, what about cable and internet? You know, yeah. that ends up being a hassle as much as anything. Boy, right? you said a mouthful right there. Yeah. Yeah. And so we want to be able to to do that also. And there's a litany of other things that we want to do, things that have to happen that mm -hmm. almost always happen in the transaction. Mm -hmm. And if we can add that to our list of products and services that an agent can choose to offer and coordinate on behalf of their customer, they can deliver a customer experience that no other brokerage company, no other competing agent from another brokerage company can right. offer that customer. And that's a unique, that's one more unique thing that the Long and Foster agent right. can deliver and coordinate. And right. the consumer wants it. Yeah, absolutely. And all these things cost money. They do. Right. And all these things bring value to the uh, to the transaction. They do. You know, an interesting thing is that some of uh, there are brands that are out trying to there's a lot of brands, brokerages mm -hmm. across the country that are talking about uh, the first stages of delivering mortgage title insurance. Yeah. Uh, what they're doing is they're trying to uh, they're trying to connect themselves and establish some relationships with other companies to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, at Long and Foster, what we've done is we've we've brought these companies into the Long and Foster companies umbrella. So right. they're actually companies that we own. Right. Uh, and we just think that it's imperative that that is a differentiating factor from a lot of the competition that's trying to deliver this feature is mm -hmm. that 
they're never going to be able to deliver the same sense of urgency, the same quality of service as we can when we own all these companies because we set all of the priorities. Right. We set the sense of urgency. We can establish priorities. And a Long and & Foster agent and a, and a Long & Foster customer is the number one priority. And you can't say that uh, when you go to another mortgage company right. that, that's not Prosperity or if you go to another insurance agency that's not Long & Foster Insurance. Right, that's yeah. true. And and I think I think all this fits in, you know, when you talk about being the, uh, for, you know, the, your your future vision for Long and Foster being somebody's trusted advisor, you know, having all these parts and pieces under your control are very important. Yeah. You can't control a company you don't own. Right, and I know that you know I've sat and um, talked to a lot of successful realtors, a lot of realtors at Long & Foster, yourself right. and many others also. And, uh, you know, one of the interesting things when I talk to them about the all-inclusive experience, uh, a lot of the successful agents tell me, well, I do that today. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I do coordinate that for, for my customer. Mm -hmm. And I ask them, well, when you're first sitting down with your customer, do you tell them when you're first trying to establish your relationship with mm -hmm. that customer, that you're going to do all of these things in addition to what the customer may think the, the traditional real estate transaction is. Mm -hmm. And usually it's answered, well, no, I, I don't, I do it, right. but I don't really talk about it up front. And I said, yeah. I think that that's huge value. And that would, that would provide huge confidence to the customer to, to recognize all the stuff that has to happen right. to make a transaction really really uh, work through the entire process and that you, the agent, are going to bring them uh, that expertise and confidence to be able to walk through that. Yeah. You know? You, you, so, I, you know, I would say in response to that, I think the, 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 the real estate transaction is very complex. Very. It's, and we were talking about that before we, we this morning. And, uh it's it's when you sit down with a with a buyer at a listing presentation, you you run out of time always. Yeah. You always run out of time. And it's right. and it's the you know, the complexities of a, of a real estate transaction, when you get into all the parts and pieces, the mortgage, the insurance, the the moving, the just the transaction itself and the utilities. And then you go beyond that, like like we were discussing yeah. earlier with all the complexities of the house itself. Right. You know, right. it's uh, right. it's uh, incomprehensively complex. <laughs> well, it is. And think about I think that your listeners should think about the idea that, you know, a realtor does this, uh, goes through a transaction, right? Many, many times a month and right. lots of times a year. But as a consumer, right? I, I go through a transaction, then I might not go through. I think the average time between transactions has extended to like every 10 years. Well, right. I've forgotten everything I learned in my first transaction right. 10 years later when I get to the next well, transaction. Well, plus all the rules have changed. Oh, well, that's a really good point. Yeah, yeah of course. They're changing they're all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I just think that we lose sight of the fact that how... Um, how naive uh, most consumers are to everything that has to happen. Right. And I just don't believe that, you know, the consumer says, well, I think I'm going to go buy a house. So right. what I'm going to do is I need to get pre-approved. Then I need to uh, get uh, financing. Then I need to, you know, I need to get my realtor and I need to negotiate the price and all the components of the real estate transaction right. and understand all the complexities of a contract and things to look for. Then I need to get a home inspection and then I need to make sure I have clear title. Yeah. And then I need homeowners insurance. Then I got to turn off my utilities. Turn them on. You know, on a, the consumer does not think that. Right, you know, what right. do they think? They think like, I want to go buy a house yep. and move into it. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I want. And yeah. I don't, I don't know about the twelve other things, the twelve other transactions that have to happen simultaneously. Right. And I think that's what the Long and Foster agent can bring. Absolutely. That a lot of other agents can't and yeah. and don't. And yeah. and, and you know, it's only getting more complex all the time. Right. It's not getting right. easier. It's getting right. harder. It's right. getting harder. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. this goes back to the question from the from the first segment is how do you educate the consumer? How do you how do you help the consumer better understand how complex this is and and what you're getting yourself right. into? Right. Yeah. And, and once again, I, we, we are we are wrestling with that question mm -hmm. now uh, at Long and Foster in trying to determine the ways that we go about yeah. doing that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we will. Uh, 
I think we will be marketing and advertising more about the complexity of a real estate transaction and that your Long and Foster realtor is the person that can coordinate all yeah. this complexity yep. Trusted for Trusted advisor. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. So in wrapping up this segment, so do you have final thoughts on, on your topic two? I, I, I just think that, you know, I'm going to just emphasize the fact that I'm really proud of our company mm -hmm. uh, for seeing the future far earlier than anybody else right. and moving in this direction of introducing additional products and services that our agents can offer to their customers in order to deliver a superior customer experience. And, and we're, we need to further that. We've right. got a lead to a lot of our competition, but we need to continue to push this forward. Yeah. And I think that the Long and Foster agents need to continue to endorse and, and offer that. And it's, uh, once again, you know, you can pick what pieces you want to use and things like that, but it's right. really about uh, simplifying what is a really complex and a really frustrating uh, kind of experience. It's scary, yeah. right? It is. It's a <laughs> lot. There's a lot of money at stake yeah. when you're a consumer. Yeah. Uh, and it's not like buying a pair of socks, is yeah. it? Yeah. No, it's not. And you know what I'll add? You just uh, brought a thought to my mind is that, you know, in a transaction, if everything goes well, you're just really managing a transaction you're a transaction right. manager the the challenge and the good agents shine when you hit that bump in the road yeah. when you get that rough home inspection or you get an appraisal that's not right or there's some problem with somebody moving out of a house you go to settlement and you go to your walkthrough and the seller hasn't moved out yeah, yet exactly. i mean things you're dealing with humans and things you don't know what's going to happen Probably, wouldn't you think more often than not something happens that absolutely. is unexpected absolutely and, because there is no such thing as a commodity transaction right it's right. not like once again i said a pair of socks i yeah. i you know there's a million pairs of socks that are identical. There's not a single real estate transaction that's identical that's to correct. another one. That's correct. Every one of them are like people. They're unique. And yeah. something something's going to happen. Yeah. Well, that's that's as as realtors, that's what we love. Well, you guys that's are problem solvers. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. We're going to take another quick break. Right. And when we come back, we're going to talk about... We're going to talk about uh, beyond the all-inclusive transaction and the idea of creating uh, an environment where a homeowner can live in between the transactions. Nice. I'm excited about right. this. All right. We'll be right back with Jeff Detweiler, CEO, Long & Foster Companies. John Jorgensen here. If you want to become a real estate agent, contact us through the Go With John show at gowithjohn.com and we will put you in touch with a professional over at Long & Foster who can walk you through the process. Again, that's gowithjohn.com. All right, so we're back with uh, Jeff Detweiler, CEO of Long and Foster Companies, and Jeff. Now we're going to talk. I'm really excited to talk about this this next segment because uh, what you guys are working on and what your vision is uh, for, for this kind of next chapter of Long and Foster and home ownership is amazing. So tell yeah. us. I, I'm not, I don't want to steal your thunder. Yeah. So thanks. Tell us what you're thinking. Yeah, so it, we, we talked about the all-inclusive transaction and for Long and Foster agents to be able to deliver and really coordinate this, uh, what ends up being a far superior customer experience because right. they walk the customer through this transaction and all the products and services. And, and um, what the next chapter is that we think is really exciting is, uh, is to create a business model, and I'll call it an ecosystem, right. for homeowners to live in from the time they settle and close on their new home uh, to uh, till forever, right? right. Uh, until they decide to sell that house and move to another house or uh, as long as they're in that house. And so what might that look for uh, or look like? So I'll ask you because you do a lot of new home sales, right? Right. Uh, if I'm a buyer of a of a new home, one right. of your new homes, uh, when I 
close on that home. I, you're providing me a lot of information and materials Absolutely. about about that property. Can you right. just just share with yeah, our Yeah, so you've got yeah. you've got well, so first of all, you get a new home orientation, right? And we show you how to use all the components in the home, but then you have all the owner's manuals of the home and the recommended service uh, intervals and uh, things like so you have an owner's manual for the house. Yeah. Which is which is an owner's manual for the refrigerator, the dishwasher, the HVAC, uh, windows, right. roof, right? All the parts and pieces yeah. of the house have information. And, and I think information provides kind of comfort mm -hmm. and confidence. And But if you contrast that, if I buy an existing home, yep. uh, nine times out of ten, there, there are no manuals. There right. is no information because the person I'm buying it from may never have received any information from the person they bought it from, exactly. right? Exactly, exactly. So, so you, you know... Every every used car we buy mm -hmm. has an owner's manual in it. Right. Right? That, right. That's the one thing that sits in the glove box exactly. and travels from owner to owner of that car. Yeah. And so what we're envisioning is the ability to create, for lack of a better description, uh, at the time of your purchase, when you close with Long & Foster, we would provide you a homeowner's manual. And that right. homeowner's manual for that existing home would give give you a perspective to all the mechanicals in the house, the HVAC mm -hmm. and water heater and that type of stuff. It mm -hmm. would give you a look at all of your appliances and right. things like that, inventory like that, and a variety of other things that could be provided. And that you as a homeowner would, uh, would leave our transaction with that. And you could use that as you uh, need to... Uh, buy new appliances mm -hmm. or get things fixed or mm -hmm. find a vendor and things like that. And mm -hmm. what we really want to expand on that is um, we really want to provide what I call property management for the owner-occupied property. Right. Uh, it's not not everybody wants it, right? When the the first house that I bought, I didn't have an extra cent to pay anybody for anything, right? right? I so had to do it all. So you had to learn how to be a plumber. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but when you did need a professional plumber, it was a very stressful situation yes. because you had to figure out where to go and so on and so forth. Right. So what we envision is to be able to provide this digital homeowner's manual that provides a lot of information about the property to the buyer right. and that they have a an application that has all this information and that uh, a realtor can continue to stay connected to their previous clients through mm -hmm. this application mm -hmm. uh, and Long and Foster, the company, can stay connected. And we want to start building out a business model that has companies like we do in the all-inclusive transaction, but to help maintain the property as we go forward. Right. Um, so if... Uh, there's a lot of money spent after by the buyer after the home is purchased. Right. Uh, appliances, new appliances are right, purchased right. and things like that. Maybe HVAC unit is replaced or an air conditioning itself or something like that. Uh, but this would, one, help you. Another thing is, you know, we want to stay in touch with our previous clients, help our agents stay in touch with them mm -hmm. uh, in taking care of the property. So if I bought a house, I might get... Uh, I might get connected with by my agent or my app that says, you know, the refrigerator that's in your house is a so is a GE monogram model so and so and it's got an average life of 14 years and right. it's 16 years old and right now uh you know John Jorgensen is going to give you a coupon for 10% off on that particular product and right. you can replace it if you buy it now. So that's the kind of idea of what we want to create so that homeowners start to become customers, not just people that are going to buy and sell homes right. are customers of Long & Foster. We want homeowners to become part of Long & Foster yeah. and that they have an application that allows them to manage their property in an easier, more efficient way. Yeah. And if we can provide them access to vendors uh, and various services that they may want that have gone through 
a diligence process by us, Long and right. Foster, and they've had to pass uh, a certain set of requirements. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. We think that that will be valuable for the consumer and just continue to improve the experience that they have with our right. realtors and with the firm. You know, and I, th- I, th- I think, uh, you know, from my perspective, I have a different view on that. I think you you touched on a lot of things every time we chat. You trigger a lot of thoughts. My wife is out today buying a refrigerator for the, the house we're living in right now because it's 15 years old. And we can just hear it's on its last leg. So let's get it replaced before it goes. So that's a great example. Right. And you spend yeah. $500 on the food that's in it exactly. when it goes out. Well, and exactly. That's and, just throw away. And, and I say, let's let's replace it on our terms. Yeah. Right? Let's not right. replace it. Let's not have to deal with it on a Friday when we may be going away for the weekend. Exactly. Right. right? So, so, but it also, you know, another piece of that is I think there are a lot of folks, I think you talk to any seasoned real estate professional and they go in to take a listing. And the first thing they discover is the homeowner hasn't done anything to the house for a decade. Right. 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 So, you know, part of uh, maintaining your property value and having uh, a great return on investment is maintaining it while you have it. And that's another going into educating the consumer. Right. And having the homeowner understand that, hey, we have to take care of this asset. And ironically, we've just had a huge uh, increase in construction costs, you know, and there are projects that I've had on deck that I haven't done that are now going to cost me four times as much because I didn't do them last year. Right. So, you know, it's it's a yeah. it's a maintaining a house is a big deal. Well, you know, I think it's interesting as I, I do believe that some consumers just think my my house is always going to go up in value. Right. Just because it does. But if you don't take care of it, if you don't maintain it, that there's no guarantee that your house is going to go up in value. Exactly. Maybe your lot value goes right. up, but the house is worth less if you don't take care of it. Absolutely. And I think Absolutely. that uh a lot of us don't know what we have to do. But right. if you think about it, if you draw the parallels to the automotive industry mm-hmm. and, you know, the automotive, the home, the the uh, owner's manual in a car. Right. We need an owner's manual for our house. Right. We need to get service uh, plans and to understand, yep. at least go into it, uh, using your quote, with eyes wide open that right. say, uh, okay, I know what I should be doing to take care of this asset. I yeah. may choose not to for right. whatever reason, but at least I know what I should do. And I don't think we get that kind of guidance when we buy a house. And, right. you know, it, it it is, one once again, probably the most expensive asset many yeah. of us will ever have in our lives. And we, if we take care of anything, we need to be taking care of our house, right? right. right. Um, I wanted to just mention another thing that I think is an exciting opportunity in this kind of ecosystem. Uh, and I wanted to ask you because you're – in addition to existing homes, you're in the new home space. Right. Um, doesn't almost every new home come with some basic level of smart technology now? Uh, I, I would say it's optional. I, so it, it all depends on the builder, okay. right? Some builders include a lot of that. Um, other builders don't. And I and I think it, it can get very complex oh, yeah. in itself. But I, but I would say at, at a minimum, I think most of our buyers would put in, you know, a smart thermostat, you know, some some smart switches, some smart lights yeah. and things like that. Some maybe it maybe a doorbell camera, things yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, when I think about that, I think this is going to be a huge trend in our industry. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it already is, but I think it's going to be even bigger each each year. And so think about all these existing homes that are selling that have no smart technology whatsoever. Right. And the vast majority of new homes are coming with some basic level. And you can only imagine it's like a new car. Right. The technology is going to be greater and greater in it. And it's going to it's going to uh, create a larger gap between the desire to have an existing home right. and the desire to have a new home. And, right. and that that will manifest itself in price. And mm-hmm. so I just think that there is a huge need to smartify our existing homes. Right. And that's one of the businesses that Long & Foster wants to have and is plan, uh, planning on putting within our portfolio of companies to help our uh, our consumers through our agents uh, 
identify the the various levels of smartification, if right. there is such a word, of their house. And it's very doable at the base level. Mm -hmm. And I think that it is something that just adds to the convenience. And if a Long & Foster agent can help you do it, kind of a perfect time to do it is right before you move in, yeah. right after you buy a house yeah, yeah, and before yeah. you move in and things yeah. like that. And that would be easy to do. So I've, I've, I've done it both ways and basic is better than complex. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I'm sure of it. Complex is too Dude, complex you for can much get, of us to yeah, operate. You could get, uh, get so many uh, Wi-Fi switches in your house uh, that you need the iPad app and it could get, uh, yeah. it can get, it is cool though. It, well, it, it is, is cool. cool. There's a lot of convenience, and I think there's security features in it that are really big. I, I think about, um, I just think about the ability, you know, to have some of those uh, moisture detectors yes. in key spots around yeah. your house. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nobody thinks, well, a lot of people don't think about that, but what a mess. I yeah. went on a week's vacation uh, or a business trip for four days right after I left water started leaking out of something and it's a mess by yeah. the time I get back. Yeah, and so, yeah, yeah. you know, you can have a moisture detector that notifies you on your phone. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Uh, I think smart locks are easy and, and provide convenience for people. You know, the camera at your door yeah. to see what's happening, who's dropping what off and who's taking your package. Who's the right. porch pirate that's taking right. your package. Exactly. Right? Uh, all of those things are, are pretty basic and aren't overly complicated, but I think that people want that type of yes. thing in their house. The, Absolutely. the thermostat, uh, certainly some lights, uh, and, and a lot of that manifests itself in security issues and yeah, things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's that's yeah, that's that's a good uh, that's a good point. And certainly, if you have a package, it might be value add for a seller to add it to their house before they put it on the market. Right. You right. Know? What I what we envision, and and who knows when this is, but right. uh, we really see that the the whole industry is going to migrate to this place mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. there will be a record of every house right uh every property just like there's a record of ev every automobile like right? carfax exactly right exactly and right. that was you know everybody that's kind of a standard now right yeah uh but that one i will if i sell my house to you uh, i will trade you know i will give you the history of the house mm -hmm. and the record of the house that's part of my transaction that i give to you mm -hmm. and you pick that up and then when you sell the house you give it to somebody else and the right. idea is is to keep that updated as yes. you're an owner of the home uh i can only imagine that that would be more appealing to me a buyer if i had a good record and history of absolutely the house than no if question. i had no idea and there's no question about it and so you, you know? can only imagine we're going to get there. Yeah. The question is when. When. And yeah. uh, Long and Foster wants to be in the lead of yes. getting to that place instead of following others. Sure. Yeah. Lead, follow, or right. get out of the way. There we go. Right, right, That's right. right. So fantastic. So any closing thoughts on? So so just to kind of recap, the the vision is every house will have a record that Long and Foster has anything to do with selling or buying. Right. Yeah. In and, conjunction with a home inspection company, create the record, create the data. It lives digitally online. The homeowner can access it. That's your vision. Right. Yeah. And, and I think an important aspect of it is to have a have a model of a of a family of companies that is in tune to that so mm -hmm. that uh you know, our idea is to align with a home inspection company that if they do the home inspection, they're going to populate this homeowner's manual for you. Right, right, right. right. And so you're going to get that. And then the idea is, uh, let's say we have an HVAC company in the future. Well, right. when the HVAC company installs the new HVAC uh, mechanicals, um, they then populate the, we want to make the population of the, of the, of the file and the record as easy as possible for the consumer. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. And you know, just another thought, you, you, you may you may even want to have periodic uh, inspections of the house as an option. I actually have a house that I built seven years ago, and I'm going to have the home inspector back who did the original inspection for me just to do another inspection. It's been seven years. Right. What if there's a little leak yep. in the roof somewhere? Right. That that uh, that developed over time. Right. It can happen. And John, I, I think that is brilliant. Uh, 
and we've at, we were actually talking about that last week. And the idea was, what a what a great thing if we if our agents could offer to some of their customers, yeah. you know, uh, a a a health check on your house. Exactly. And you bring in the inspection company yeah. that has a streamlined inspection. It doesn't right. have to be as in-depth as maybe a purchase inspection sure. would be. Sure, But, you know, mechanicals, roof, appliances, right. foundation, yeah. right? You look water. for that stuff. Keep the water out. Keep the water is not good. <laughs> water is good in your pipes. It's not good outside exactly. your pipes. Exactly, exactly. But, uh, but to be able to do that, I think that would be a, a, a phenomenal value for a Absolutely. realtor to be able to offer uh, their past clients. And you get a home inspection kind of a thing. Right. And, well, and you could get prospective uh, home sellers calling uh, Long and Foster for an inspection but to, to test drive the, the program. I mean, there's exactly. all kinds of uh, win-wins there. There's lots of ways to, you know, yeah. we would probably complicate the, the conversation with oh, listeners and things like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so there's all kinds of avenues that yeah. uh, we can see this thing going. And I think that at the end of the day, this type of a model uh, will also be able to deliver a preferred price than yeah. what any buddy could get if they went out on right. their own and tried to find all these exactly. individual providers that the the bundled services it's like insurance you know if right. you bundle your homeowners and your auto and right. things like that you can get a better deal than if yep. you buy it separately yep, yep, yep. i i think we envision that kind of a concept of bundling the services for your home and that you can get a preferred price Versus if you went out exactly. and tried to get it yourself. Yeah, no, yeah. makes perfect sense. Yeah. All right, Jeff, that was uh, fantastic. Thanks again for coming in today. So do you have any closing thoughts as we uh, kind of wrap up the conversation today? Uh, you know, I always have lots of thoughts. Uh, I think I'm going to keep it brief. I just, yeah. I'm really excited about what we're doing at Long and Foster. Uh, we're spending a lot of time working on these new concepts and bringing them to life. And, uh, they're just r right around the corner for us. Yeah. Uh, and I just, I'm excited to deliver a superior customer experience for the consumer and to continue to figure out how to better support our agents, uh, as they're delivering this better experience to our customers. Fantastic. Very well said, Jeff. Jeff Detweiler, CEO, Long & Foster Companies. Thanks again for coming back. Thank you, John. Hey, Jeff, thanks again for coming in today. And in closing, I just want to thank everybody for listening. Uh, we are so excited about all the information that we're bringing uh, to folks out there, uh, not only about uh, real estate and home building and business, but we're covering a lot of topics on this show. And uh, we hope to continue to do this for many, many years to come. We're having a lot of fun and we hope you are having as much fun listening as we are recording these conversations. Go out and build something extraordinary.